everybody. Welcome to this episode of the New York Philharmonic's Very Young People's Concerts at Home. I'm Becky, your host, and I play viola with the New York Philharmonic. Since none of us can get to a concert hall right now, we're coming to you to play some music and have some fun. Join us each time as we meet a new member of the orchestra family. The violin, viola, and the cello, and the bass, and the harp, and piano, each one is in its place. The piccolo, flute, and clarinet, the English horn, and bassoon, don't forget the oboe, cause he's the one who tunes us. French horn, trumpet, tuba, and don't forget trombone, the timpani, and cymbals, and the xylophone, for now you know the orchestra family. Next time, won't you sing with me? The special instrument of the day is... The harp! Here to help us learn a little bit about the harp is New York Philharmonic Principal Harp and my friend, Nancy Allen. Hi, Nancy! Hi, Becky. Thank you for inviting me today. Nancy, before we do anything else, would you play a little something for us so we could hear what the harp sounds like? I would love to play something for you. Have you ever heard anything more beautiful in your life? And watching you, I have so many questions about the harp. I also have a couple of young friends who have sent questions in for you. Would you mind answering them? Sure. I hope the questions aren't too difficult. Nancy, how many strings does the harp have? Most concert harps have 47 strings. Nancy, how many pounds does the harp Way. That's a really good question. The harp is very big and it's extremely heavy. It weighs about 80 pounds, probably the same as a big dog you see out in the street or perhaps your own dog. Hey, Becky, I have a great idea. Could I give you a tour of the harp? The harp has three main components, strings, a lot of them, wood, a lot of wood, which is hollow, like a like a boat. I'll show you that in the back of the instrument and seven pedals. And I have to move the seven pedals with my feet. These seven pedals each have three positions. So that's three times seven, 21 slots to choose from with my feet moving them. And I can never look down. I'm too busy trying to figure out which string to play. And if you look at my harp, you'll see that they're color coded strings, red for C, F is blue and C is red. And then everything else in between is white, so I can find a scale very easily. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Or if I play glissando, so let me give you a closer look at my harp. So Becky, this is the top of the harp, and then you run along the very top of the harp to what you call the neck of the harp. The neck sustains all the tension on the strings. And then you come to the back of the harp. This is all made out of wood, and you'll see holes in the bottom of the instrument. And in those holes, you can see the backs of my strings, which are tied into big knots so they don't come out. Then going down to the bottom of the harp, you'll see my seven petals. 
And with those seven pedals, I can change the pitches of the notes by moving them and moving them like very quickly sometimes, trying to make not too much noise. And I come back up around the harp and you see the sounding board and all the strings are threaded through little holes. And those knots you already saw on the back. One of the most interesting things about the harp is that we play all 47 strings with our fingertips. We have to keep our fingernails pretty short and we don't ever, ever use our little finger. We only use these three and our thumb. And we pluck the strings like this. That was awesome. I've been in the orchestra for a lot of years and I learned more about the harp just now than I ever knew before. I'd like to summarize. Nancy, let me know if I got it all right, okay? Let's see, there are a lot of strings and oh, there are colors on the strings. Um, Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. I know there are petals, there are petals and, and oh, and you tie the strings in your hair in knots. Never use your pinkies. Only your thumbs. Am I close? Very good, Becky. Thanks, Nancy. You know, when you were playing, I noticed that parts of what you were playing were kind of fast and parts were kind of slow. Right, Becky. Could you tell us the words we use in music for fast and slow? How about if we do it together? Everybody repeat after me. Ready? Allegro means fast. Allegro means fast. Adagio just means it's slow. Allegro means fast. Allegro means fast. Adagio just means it's slow. You got it! Hey, I know a really silly song that we could do as allegro as we can. Are you ready? I am the very model of a modern major general of information, vegetable, animal, and mineral. I know the kings of England and I quote the facts of sort of a marathon to wander to an order categorical. I'm very well acquainted with magic mathematical. I understand equations both the simple and quadratical. I'm up, I know your theorem, I'm teeming with a lot of news. With many cheerful thoughts about the square of the hypotenuse. Very good at integral and differential calculus. I know the scientific names of beings and amalculus and talk about vegetable, animal, and mineral. I am the very model of a modern major general. I love Allegro. It's always so much fun. And now. There's a word that in music we want you to know. Adagio, adagio, adagio. Since we've already done fast, this word must mean slow. Adagio, adagio, adagio. When you want to go fast, then allegro, you'll cry. And if things are still slow, well, then you will know why. It's that other new word you should probably try. Adagio, adagio, adagio. I love Adagio. It lets me slow down and think my thoughts. Nancy, don't go too far. We're gonna hear you play your harp in the big orchestra. Kids, while we're listening to Nancy, let's do some yoga, ballet, stretching. What would we call that? Yo balletching. Yeah, yo balletching. Well, whatever it is, let's do it. First, let's get in some comfy clothing. 
I'll be right back. Okay, I bet you didn't know this about me, but I'm actually a very accomplished ballet dancer. Follow along with me anyway, as we listen to the music of Tchaikovsky's Swan Lake. There's a beautiful harp solo in it that Nancy's playing, and a cello solo and a violin solo too. See if you can tell if it's Allegro or Adagio. You guys, you're really good, yo, bowletchers. Almost as good as I am. So, what do you think? Was it Allegro or Adagio? Well, if you said Adagio, you were right! I don't know about you, but I'm ready for some good old cardio. Dance along with me or make up your own crazy moves to this Allegro music, also from Tchaikovsky's Swan Lake.
some fun Allegro dancing, y'all. Don't forget to go drink some water. <sighs> Nancy, thank you so much for sharing your time and your talent and so much information with us. Is there anything you'd like to add before we say goodbye? Thank you so much, Becky, and to everyone for listening today. I look forward to seeing you at a concert of the New York Philharmonic very soon. Thank you. Bye. Thanks, Nancy. Well, that's our show. Thanks so much for joining us. We hope to see you next time. Remember, music is a way to keep us together, even when we're apart. So keep making it! Toodaloo!